We have a fraction to the negative exponent, so why don't we flip top and bottom and make the exponent positive? We spread the love top and bottom, and we now get 5 cubed, which is 125, over 3 cubed, which is 27. When we have the same bases, we subtract the exponents. We have 3 minus a negative number, and 2 negatives become a positive. So we have 3 plus 2, which is 5. Let's simplify this expression. We have x, which is x to the 1, times x to the 5 squared. When we have exponent bracket exponent, we multiply. So on the numerator, we have x to the 5 times 2, which is x to the 10. And here we have x to the 3. And on the denominator, we have x to the minus 1. We have the same base, so we can add these exponents. What is 1 plus 10 plus 3? 11 plus 3 is 14. So we have x to the 14 divided by x to the minus 1. When we divide with the same base, we subtract exponents. We have 14 minus negative 1. Two negatives become a positive, so we have x to the 14 plus 1 which is x to the 15. We have a fraction to a negative exponent. We're allowed to rewrite with a positive exponent if we switch top and bottom. We now simplify the inside. 4 divided by 8 becomes 1 half. a squared over a cubed becomes a on the bottom. And y7, y5, we have y squared on the top. 7 minus 5 is 2. We now spread the exponent love, top and bottom. And so we have y to the 6, because 2 times 3 is 6. And when we cube the bottom, we get 8, a cubed. Let's make some progress on this question by copying this part over here. So we have 2x squared y, and we're going to move this part to the denominator. So we now have 3xy all to the 3. We're going to spread the exponent love. This 2 is going to be spread here, here, and here. So 4 squared is 16. We have x squared, and when we multiply, negative 3 times 2 is negative 6. So carrying on, the 2 16 becomes 1 over 8. The x squares, they cancel out. We have y to the 1 here, and a y to the negative 6 here, so we can move this up, which becomes y6 y6 and y1 becomes y7. And we're going to spread the exponent love here. 3 cubed is 27. We have x cubed, y cubed. And what's 8 times 27? It's 216. And y7 over y3 becomes y to the 4. What's the meaning of x to the a over b? The exponent is a fraction, which means the bth root of x to the a. For example, if we have x to the 2 thirds, the denominator is 3. So this here is the index of the radical. We have x squared. Now what about a to the 5 over 2. This means the square root, the index here is 2, we don't have to write it, of a to the 5. An alternate form would be the square root of a times a times a times a times a. We have a pair of a's here and here, and they break out of the radical. So we have a times a is a squared root a as an alternate answer.
9 to the 1 half can be rewritten as a radical, the square root of 9. The denominator does it, it corresponds to a hidden index of 2 here. So the square root of 9 is simply 3.